Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel on Engineering Mathematics. In this video, I will introduce the system of complex numbers. First, we will discuss the definition of the complex number along with its geometrical interpretation. Then we will discuss the algebra of the complex numbers. So let us first see the definition of complex numbers. A complex number Z is the number of the form A plus IB where A and B are both real numbers and I is an imaginary number whose value is root of minus 1. Here we call A as real part of the complex number and B as imaginary part of the complex numbers. Following are some examples of complex number. Z1 is equal to 2 plus 3i. Here A is 2 and B is 3. Consider another example. Z2 is equal to 5i. Here A is 0 and B is 5. Such type of complex number is called as purely imaginary complex number because here real part is 0. Similarly, if Z3 is equal to 7, then here A is 7 and B is 0. Such type of complex number is called as purely real because it does not consist of imaginary part. Now let us discuss higher powers of this imaginary number i. i square is nothing but i into i but i is root of minus 1. So root of minus 1 into root of minus 1 is minus 1. i cube can be written as i square into i but i square is minus 1. So we will have i cube is equal to minus 1 into i that is minus i. Similarly i raised to 4 will be i square into i square but i square is minus 1. So minus 1 into minus 1 is 1. So i raised to 4 is 1. Now let us discuss geometrical representation of the complex number. A complex number z is equal to a plus ib can be graphically represented as follows. Consider this plane which has a real axis as x axis and imaginary axis as y axis. In this plane a point a comma b represents complex number z is equal to a plus ib. Note that A is real part, so we will draw it on the real axis and B is imaginary part, so we will draw it on the imaginary axis. So this point A comma B gives us the complex number Z is equal to A plus IB. Though this plane looks like a Cartesian plane, this plane is called as Argon plane. Now let us go ahead with next concept called as complex conjugate of the complex number. If z is equal to a plus ib is the given complex number, then its conjugate denoted by z bar is defined as a minus ib. It is obtained by simply replacing sine of the imaginary part. Look at some examples. If z is equal to 2 plus 3i, then its complex conjugate can be obtained by replacing sine of imaginary part. So z bar here will be 2 minus 3i. Similarly, if z is equal to 5, where imaginary part is 0, then its conjugate z bar is given by simply 5. Now consider another example where real part is 0. Here z is equal to 3i. Then its conjugate can be obtained by replacing sine of imaginary part. So z bar in this case can be given by minus 3i. Now let's go ahead with algebra of the complex numbers. Here we will discuss addition, subtraction, multiplication and division of two complex numbers. Note that finding addition, subtraction, multiplication and division of two complex numbers means finding another complex number of the type a plus ib. It doesn't mean that in case of division of two complex numbers you need to find out quotient and the remainder. Here you have to find another complex number of the type a plus ib which, which will represent some subtraction or multiplication or division of two complex numbers. Let us understand with some examples. If I take z1 is equal to x1 plus iy1 and z2 as x2 plus iy2 as two complex numbers then their addition z1 plus z2 is given by x1 plus iy1 plus x2 plus iy2. To add these two complex number, we have to simply open these brackets and add real parts together and imaginary parts together. So when I add real parts together, I will have x1 plus x2 and when I add imaginary parts together, I will have i into y1 plus y2. 
look at this this is a new complex number of the type a plus ib this is addition of two complex numbers z1 and z2 similarly subtraction z1 minus z2 can be obtained by x1 plus iy1 minus x2 plus iy2 once again we have to open these brackets and then we have to combine the real terms together and imaginary terms together so when i combine real terms together we have x1 minus x2 and when i combine imaginary terms together i will have plus i into y1 minus y2 this is subtraction of z1 and z2 for example if z1 is 2 plus 3i and z2 is 3 minus 5i then z1 plus z2 given by 2 plus 3i plus 3 minus 5i let us add real terms together so the addition will be 2 plus 3 is 5 and adding imaginary terms together 3i minus 5i will be minus 2i similarly z1 minus z2 will be 2 plus 3i minus 3 minus 5i 2 minus 3 will be minus 1 and 3i minus minus 5i will be 8i so z1 minus z2 will be minus 1 plus 8i now let us proceed for product of two complex number z1 into z2 so z1 into z2 is simply x1 plus iy1 into x2 plus iy2 here we will open this bracket and we will multiply these elements over this elements so we have x1 into x2 plus iy2 plus iy1 into x2 plus iy2 now let us open the bracket and we'll do component wise multiplication so we will have x1 into x2 plus i into x1 into y2 plus i into x2 into y1 plus i square into y1 into y2 but we know that i square is minus 1 so we will replace it by minus 1 now we will combine real terms together so here real terms are x1 x2 and minus y1 y2 and then we will combine imaginary terms so we have plus i into x1 y2 plus y1 x2 this is product of two complex numbers z1 and z2 look at the following example say z1 is 2 plus 3i and z2 is 3 minus 5i then z1 into z2 is 2 plus 3i into 3 minus 5i let us do component wise multiplication so we have 2 into 3 minus 5i plus 3i into 3 minus 5i 2 3s are 6 minus 2 5s are 10i plus 3 3s are 9i minus 3 5s are 15i square but i square is minus 1 and minus into minus is plus so we have 6 minus 10i plus 9i plus 15 now let's add the real terms together so we have 6 plus 15 as 21 and minus 10i plus 9i will be minus i this is product of 2 plus 3i and 3 minus 5i now let's find out division of z1 and z2 here as i said we do not need to find the quotient and the remainder of the two complex numbers instead we have to find out another complex number of the type a plus ib which will represent z1 by z2 so z1 by z2 here is x1 plus iy1 upon x2 plus iy2 to simplify this to the form a plus ib we will multiply this expression by complex conjugate of the denominator similarly we will divide it by the same number so conjugate of the denominator is x2 minus iy2 so we will multiply and divide it by x2 minus iy2 now let us multiply terms in the numerator and multiply terms in the denominator so in the numerator we will have x1 plus iy1 into x2 minus iy2 and in denominator we will have term of the type a plus b into a minus b which leads to a square minus b square now let's do component wise multiplication in the numerator so we will have something like this expression we have studied it on my previous slide now in the denominator this will become i square into y2 square 
and we know that i square is minus 1 and minus into minus becomes plus so in the denominator we will have x2 square plus y2 square in this way we have get rid of that iota in the denominator now we will simply divide the terms in the numerator with this denominator to write the given expression in the form a plus ib so we have z1 by z2 is equal to x1 x2 plus y1 y2 upon x2 square plus y2 square minus i into x1 y2 minus x2 y1 upon x2 square plus y2 square now look at the example here we have to find out 1 plus i upon 1 minus i to simplify this we will multiply and divide it by conjugate of the denominator here conjugate of the denominator is 1 plus i so after multiplying and dividing it by 1 plus i we have this expression numerator will be 1 plus i whole square and denominator will be 1 minus i into 1 plus i that is 1 square minus i square numerator 1 plus i square can be written as 1 plus 2i plus i square now let us replace these i square by minus 1 so we have 1 plus 2i minus 1 in the numerator and 1 plus 1 in the denominator this 1 and minus 1 will get cancelled so we will have 2i in the numerator and 2 in the denominator later this 2 2 gets cancelled and we will left with only i so 1 plus i upon 1 minus i is nothing but just i this is how one can find out division of two complex numbers i hope guys you understood what are complex numbers their representation on the argon plane and their algebra in my next video i will discuss the polar form of the complex number till then keep watching thank you all of you thank you for watching this video please subscribe my youtube channel and press the bell icon to get updates about my new videos